I am Delilah S. Dawson. I am the author of several Star Wars adventure comics, as well as Marvel Action Spider-Man and Star Pig. Alan and Leia, um, I read Leia, Princess of Alderaan by Claudia Gray, which informs you about what it was like when Leia found out that her parents were involved in, um, in the resistance. Well, I guess then we, we called it the Rebels. Uh, and so this is set after she had met Evelyn Holdo um, through a kind of senatorial aid program. Uh, they were sent on some adventures together to learn uh, about guiding, learning about the galaxy, kind of basically an orienteering program. And this is when they're friends on Coruscant, and Amelyn wants to learn how to drive a speeder, and Leia offers, which Leia should have known what she had gotten into, because like the very first thing Amelyn Haldo ever said to her was that she wanted to explore her feelings about death. I just want readers to see two teenage girls having a fun adventure, and maybe learning a little bit more about what goes on underneath Coruscant, because, you know, when you're I mean, wait, she's a princess. It's right there in the name, Princess Leia. That's only the top levels of Coruscant. There are 5,000 levels, and the lower you go, the less light there is, the less money, the less resources. So she gets to see how those people live while also kind of learning to trust Amelyn and to maybe get in a little bit of trouble. I mean, Leia's never had a problem getting into trouble, but at the same time, uh, when your friend takes your car into a vertical dive into what you've been told is like Deathville, you kind of have to go with it if you want to, you know, get to the bottom of things and see something beautiful. I think Coruscant is so low, the bottom like five levels, you can't even get to them because um, they're so deep down, nobody's seen kind of anything because it's just a city right now. The whole planet is a city, it's built out. Coruscant is levels and levels and the deeper, the deeper you go, the darker it gets, the dirtier and more dangerous it gets. So we're taking a deep dive. Um, you know, slight uh, poetic license here because I'm imagining me when I was 16. I was, um, I was, I've always been very responsible and I was very like 10 and 2 and I follow all the directions. And then maybe your adventures come after that. Um, so I think that Leia doesn't mind going um, off the beaten track, but I still think she, she says, you know, let me show you this. They have a little uh, obstacle course where you can go to learn how to drive a speeder. It's basically like putt putt for kids. And Amlin is like, isn't this for babies? And Leia's like, yes, but you have to learn the basics. Uh, so I think that she is a kind teacher, a trusting teacher, but she also isn't quite prepared for a vertical dive. Everything? Um, yeah, I've been a Star Wars uh, fan since I was a kid and got my first Ewok and slept on my blue Star Wars sheets. Um, so yeah, getting to write Star Wars adventures and being a part of Star Wars is incredible getting to write um, canon, getting to contribute to this thing that I love so much, getting to talk to the fans. Um, one of my favorite Star Wars Adventures comics I've gotten to write is number five, which is a David Attenborough style discussion of Porg biography, biology. And I love it when little kids bring me the Porg cover to sign. My Porgs that I draw look like sad potatoes, but I will draw you a sad, a sad Porg potato and we can share how much we love cute animals. But in this case, much like in the Rose Tico comic and in the Padme and Jar Jar comic, I love showing strong women having adventures, standing up for what's right, doing the dangerous thing, getting their hands dirty, and in this case, like being friends. It's so fun to see um, a girl-girl friendship story in Star Wars. Mm -hmm.